Hey everybody, me again. Today I'm going to go through the tutorials for a wonderful game I found called Towns. This is its main menu. It's currently in its alpha version and it is version 0.40.2. I have no idea what the point two means. I'm assuming it's a, um, a revision to fix a bug or something. Anyway, let's go through the tutorials. So we click on the play button and click on tutorial and we it's best if you go through them in order from top to bottom uh, we'll do a couple of the tutorials in this video possibly more depending on how long it takes to complete each tutorial anyway let's start off with the first tutorial orders this is your main window in towns you've got along the top here a well a little I guess you could call it a log box, just sort of tells you what's happening, uh, if people are getting killed, if they're, if enemies are attacking, such and so on and whatnot. Uh, then you've got the date, day, months, years, I assume, I'm not entirely sure. And we've got the counter, this is how many citizens you have, and this is how many soldiers you have. Don't worry about soldiers, that get comes into it later on. Uh, on this side we've got uh, one of the many build menus. This is to build uh, structures and whatnot. This here is your orders and uh, well zoning. Think, think of zoning as uh, like SimCity. And then we've got production as well. This is where your citizens produce items like food, weapons, armor, tools and such. Uh, the tutorial will cover pretty much everything, although it does lack in some parts, which is why I'm creating these videos. Anyway, let's continue with the tutorial. We push F1 to view the mission instructions and objectives. This mission. The objective is to collect 10 pieces of wood and 3 apples. You can do so by clicking on the chop button, selecting an area and clicking again. By holding the shift button, you can repeat an order with out having to click the icon again. In order to collect the apples, simply repeat the same process as chopping, but click on harvest instead. So this is the chop button. We'll get our guys to chop these trees right here. So we click once, drag out to select it and click again, and our guys and girls will go and start begin chopping. Now you can select individual trees by right clicking on them and clicking on chop tree. However, that will take you forever. Now for harvesting, we've got... Now we'll just do these two apple trees and a pear tree. Click somewhere over here. And I screwed that up massively. So we'll try that again. Harvest. And just drag out. There we go, they'll now harvest the three fruit trees. Again, just like the ordinary trees, you can right click and you can choose to harvest, or if you just want to chop the thing down without harvesting, you can do that. When you do that, of course, you don't get the pears or apples that are on the tree, you just get wood. Now, when you complete a, uh, a tutorial, you'll get the mission completed screen, but it will not progress. You have to do that yourself. So you hit the escape key and then click on just quit. There's no need to save. Let's go on to this next tutorial. Walls and zones. Press F1. This tutorial will teach you how to build a carpentry zone. First chop wood, then select the walls section of the right hand menu. Click on log wall, then shift click a 5x5 five five area. Once constructed, click on Zones on the lower menu and select Carpentry. Select the area within the four walls, filling it up completely until it is highlighted in white. Once the carpentry is built, place a carpentry workshop by clicking on Utils on the right hand menu, then Carpentry Bench and selecting where in the carpentry you want to place it. So, we start off by harvesting some wood. Now while they're doing that, you can actually start on the giving them other orders. Now, let's 
instructions want us to build a log wall and a 5x5 five five square. Now hold down shift as you do it and you don't have to come over and select log wall each time. However, do not create a complete 5x5 five five room. Leave a space somewhere, like here for example, or over here, or anywhere. If you've got a complete 5x5 five five room, then your people can't get in and it's a waste of space. Now we want to click on Zones, choose Carpentry, the first in the list. We can just make a simple 3x3 three three room, that's all you need doesn't take any materials at all. Now it looks like our citizens have used all up used up all the wood that they chopped down, so chop down some more. Now we click the back button here to get out of the walls menu. We want to go to utils. And we want to choose carpentry bench. It takes two wood to build. So we select it and drop it in our carpentry room. A citizen will grab two pieces of wood somehow assemble it into a carpentry bench and take it into the carpentry workshop. And that's it. Just quit again. And on to tutorial 3 and the last for this video. Dig and mine. In this tutorial you will have to mine 10 pieces of stone. In order to do so, first set up a carpentry with a carpentry bench. Now right click on an area with stone underneath and then click on dig. Once the hole is dug you will have to click on utils in the right hand menu and click on ladder. Select the hole and wait until the ladder is built in the carpentry bench. Once built you may scroll up and down levels using the mouse wheel or the Q and A keys on your keyboard. Once underground click on the mine icon on the bottom screen and drag a large area to be dug out. What the tutorial doesn't say is, is that these two buttons also do that. You can go up or down. So let's chop some wood. That should be enough. And then we build our carpentry. Just the same as last time, select your walls, then go into utils, carpentry bench, drop that down, and then wait for your citizens to build it for you. Now we've got some stone over here. So to start our digging, we right click on the stone and click on dig. You can actually do this way out here in the grass or wherever, but it's a lot easier if you do it just directly on the stone. Now we need a ladder to be able to get down there, so we can actually do any mining down there. So, select ladder, which is under utils as well, and place it in the hole. The ladder takes three wood, and our citizens have enough wood lying around to do so, to build it. While we're waiting for them, we'll start setting out the area to mine. So we click the mine button, and then just drag it out, including the bit of stone that we can see in the selection area because that is where the ladder will be. When the ladder is finally placed there, citizens can get down there and mine it out. Since they have nothing else to do at the moment, they'll all come down here and mine. If you've got a whole bunch of trees waiting to be chopped and fruit trees for food, which is a ladder tutorial, then not everybody will come down here and do this, they'll be doing other tasks. You never actually control your citizen directly um, in most circumstances. You literally cannot tell them, right, you, roll for whatever your name is, go do this task. You, jury, go do that. You, set an e do something else. You can't tell them to do that. You have no control over them directly. You just give them tasks to do and they will choose what task to do, when to do it and whether it's more important to do than something else.
Anyway, that's all for tonight, guys. Uh, I'll come back tomorrow and do the rest of the tutorials and a couple of videos, and then go on to actually playing the game. Anyway, catch you guys later. Went to encode the video and realised it was rather short, so we'll get on with the next tutorial, which is building with roofs. In this tutorial, you will place a roof in on your buildings. Follow the instructions from the previous tutorial and make a correct 5x5 carpentry zone with a single entrance point. Click on the furn furniture button on the right, click on the wooden door, and left click on the entrance. You will notice the roof obstructs your view of the building, so hit Control to view inside, or Tab to permanently see through walls. Now that's actually incorrect. It's Control to permanently see through the walls, and Tab just to see inside. Now we'll just chop down some trees for the wood we need. Now while we're waiting for them to do that, we'll have them to build our carpentry zone. If you ever mess up placing something, like you start there to place it instead of there, just right click, uh, menu will pop up, just click close menu or hit the escape key, and then try again. Now, we go to furniture, wooden door, takes two wood, and we'll just... Needs an accessible carpentry bench. That's where I'll bug it up. Utils, carpentry bench, we'll build that thank you right there. And I don't think you have enough wood. Chop down those two trees, that pear tree, and that pear tree. Now I've got the carpentry bench. We need to go to furniture, wooden door, and place it there. Now our citizen Bryce will collect the wood required, which is two wood, and he'll build the door and then he'll place it, and the roof should automatically appear. There we go, there's the roof. Now, tab lets you see through the roof, control to see through the walls. I prefer to use control for pretty much the entire game, having control toggled because you can still see a ghost outline of the walls. Uh, a few buildings also give you the ghost outline, but you can generally tell what they are, and it uh, doesn't affect the usefulness of the walls or whatever else is being dulled out like that. Just going to just quit. And I think we've got enough time to do the resource stockpiles tutorial as well. In this tutorial, you will learn how to place a stockpile. Click on the green stockpile button in the bottom menu. Notice that there are many different types of stockpile. We will place a raw material stockpile for wood. Make a 5x5 square and chop some wood. You'll have to collect 10 wood in order to complete this tutorial. That's incorrect. Just create the stockpile and you complete the tutorial. You will notice that your civilians will now collect the wood and place it in the stockpile. Right clicking on the stockpile lets you determine what materials go into it. That is very useful, that feature. So it will tell our guys to, and girls to chop all that wood. We want the raw material stockpile. It said 5x5, five five, but I generally make them about 10 by 10, and that's big enough for this tutorial. Now, right clicking inside it, we can choose what gets placed in this stockpile and what doesn't. When it comes to needing stone for buildings, I generally disable stone from this stockpile, so I have everything else go into it, and have a separate stockpile elsewhere for stone. Uh, we won't bother in this case, because we won't be mining any of those materials. Anyway, that's all to completing this tutorial. 
Anyway, that's all for this video, guys. I will catch you tomorrow with another video, completing all the other tutorials. Uh, we'll probably take a couple of videos, considering the last tutorial is pretty long and covers every tutorial before it. Um, yeah, catch you guys later.